I've got um, some orders to pack today. So it gives the pussy cat a bit of a shine. Put more on that Oh, I've just done something a bit daft. <laughs> Oh no, that's my toasty. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, all. Um, today's Friday. Uh, it is very cold and windy outside, very cold and windy. Um, I've dropped the kids off, um, so I have the day to get some work done. I am going to crack on with getting some more stuff done. I've got um, some orders to pack today and I've got some more planners to make up. I've got um, some goodie bags to make as well. Um, so when I um, put a goal up to be able to get the book binding machine, the cinch, um, I was supported by loads of lovely people and some of them have come back to say that they would like a copy of the planner and some of them come back and said that they were happy to support me and they wouldn't really use a planner so I've offered them a goodie bag so I will be packing up some goodie bags as well. Very exciting um, and if I've got the time I've also got some ideas for some new card designs. Another time, so uh, I'm going to pop the kettle back on because I've boiled it three times and walked away and done something else already. As you do, I'm going to just get on and move forward with getting these done. I've got all the sticker sheets ready for um, the next lot of planners, so the cricket's going to come out and um, I'm going to put it to work. So let's get on with it, shall we? gonna start getting the cricket to work and um and cut out the rest of the sticker sheets for the planners that i'll be putting together i have got one two three planners put together so i need um one two more to make today three goodie bags to put together as well i've got a order to pack um and also i need to design some packaging for a new um, window cling that I've designed. So I've got three different window clings at the moment. We've got um, a flower one and it's in this green packaging. Um, we've got the pussycat one, ginger, and it's in an orange packaging. And then we've got the space one, um, which is in some blue packaging. So. The newest window cling that I have designed, oh, I've decided to use a um, a different shape. So it's more of an oval shape. Um, it's got white vinyl and it's also got this pearlescent vinyl right there. So it gives the pussycat a bit of a shine. So I was thinking of doing the same kind of packaging like this. It's obviously going to need to be a bit bigger. Um, it's got some instructions on the back, so I will add those. And then I think I might make it purple, um, just because I love purple. <laughs> and it just feels right. So um, I need to get on design some packaging for that. Um, but let's um, start by putting the Cricut to work and cutting out the sticker sheets so I can put these plans together. Let's get on with it, shall we?
I've just done something a bit daft. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention um, and I've just um, punched the sheet the wrong side and cornered the wrong side. Oh no, that's my toasty. <sighs> okay, all right, I've just cleaned all of that up. Um, and then I suppose I'll have that in a minute. My part cheese toasty <laughs> because a lot of it's come out. So um, anyway, what I was saying is I have uh, messed this one up somewhat. So this one is fine. Um, it's cornered the right side. I need to finish hole punching it. Uh, that one's fine. But this one um, I've cut the wrong sides. I've obviously put it on top of it, not paying attention um and um put it on the wrong way up so um the corners are the wrong side and the punches are on the wrong side so it's gone through the stickers not helpful but that's fine we're going to print off another one what i tend to do with things that i have misprinted or miscut um or things that haven't cut very well um with the cricket um they get added to a special box i um, have that box ready and waiting for the kids. So when we get but I'm bored, <laughs> that's when the box of stickers and papers and things come out. So they all get reused um, before they get recycled. So that will get added to the pile for my kids to use and play with and keep them entertained for a little while. And then, as I said, it will probably get recycled. So need to do another one of those. Need to finish punching that one um and yes suppose i'll warm up the printer <laughs> on this side right guys all the stickers have been um cut uh we've got two lots here for both of the planners that we're doing um and i have all of the paper ready so we've got all the um the diary pages like the weekly pages um there's 13 of those they're double-sided so there's a week for an entire year um we've got 20 lined pages and 20 plain pages um last week i made the back pages where i um cut out you would have seen in my last video um i designed some pockets to go onto the back pages so basically this is a a finished one you've got the front page you've got all the stickers the weeks the uh the line pages and the plain pages and then when you get to the back there is a pocket and the reason there is a pocket here is so that you can fit in some extra sticker sheets so um anyone that likes using the stickers and things like that on their planners um you know, it's not always easy finding sticker sheets, especially if you take your planner with you and you like to do it in a coffee shop, things like that. So we have this nifty little pocket at the back so that the stickers that you don't use on your sheets can fit neatly into said pocket. And then you can take them with you and you know that they're not gonna fall out. So that's why that pocket is there. So um, that was, um all done in preparation to put them together today so we have um two to put together so i've got the box of i love that noise i don't know why there's just something really fun about that noise um it reminds me of being at school <sighs> rubbish men are here <laughs> i can hear them outside banging around um so yes so i've got lots and lots of different colors in here 
um i've done with white um i've done one with like a rose gold color and one with a gold one so i think we will do another with gold and um, they come really long because you've got to pop them on and then you've got to cut them to size um but to my understanding they're all big enough for um Are you quite finished? <laughs> they all come big enough to make A4 planners um, or books or whatever, what, what have you. So I think what we'll do is we'll stick with the shiny ones um, and the colourful ones can stay in there um, for now, for a future project. Um, because uh, once these planners are live on my Etsy to order, what I will be doing is ordering in um, all of the same colour. I'm not sure what colour yet. Um, it might just be white. It might just be black. They might just be silver. So we will see. So we're going to pop these planners together um, and I'm going to show you how I do it.
I'm going to leave this vlog here. Um, I've lit a nice candle. Um, I've put my light on. I'm going to get all cozy. I'm going to do some design work um, for the rest of the time that I have. Um, and um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me again. Um, if you want to see more of what I do, if you'd like to follow me, um, then please, I know they say it on all these videos, but hit that subscribe button, follow me along my journey. I am literally starting from the beginning here, so I want to be able to show you how I started, what I'm starting with, um, and hope that you will follow me on my journey. Um, otherwise, if you'd like to see some more everyday stuff, just what I'm doing during the day, little sneak peeks of what I'm getting up to or what I'm making, um, keeping up to date with things that I'm making to add to the Etsy shop as well, please go and follow me on Instagram. I will leave all the information in the the, um, the commenty boxy thingy below. <laughs> and um, um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. Um, and I'm gonna leave this here. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Uh, I love you and goodbye.